Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, welcome to today's video. So today we are going over the Colourpop Pop Art Collection. These are pretty much all existing formulas but they just came out in a new format. So they are all in a dual pencil for the eyes or for the lips and there's also some blushes in here as well. So I got sent pretty much the entire collection, I'm just missing one of the sets but we'll get to all of those details. But if you guys are interested in my thoughts on the Pop Art Collection from Colourpop then please continue watching. So I'll just hold up these two for reference. The blue pencil is the colour duos that come with a cream gel liner on one end and a colour stick on the other end and then for the lippy duo it's in the pink packaging and we have the lippy stick and then a lippy pencil on each end and you can also see there's a little stripe of colour so you can see which stick is which shade so that's always convenient and unfortunately you can't purchase these individually you can only get them in sets so they both are the same price they both are 18 US dollars for a set of three and there are different variations of these sets so if you wanted to get all of the color duo sets it's 40 US dollars and if you wanted to get all of the lippy duo sets it is also 40 US dollars and then also like I mentioned that there are some pressed blushes in here which are 12 US dollars there are three different shades and then if you wanted to just get the entire whole pop art collection it is 110 USD and of course I do have my affiliated code with Colourpop if you guys would like to save a bit of money it's 10% off so that is my code Judy at checkout thank you so much if you do choose to shop with my code I really do appreciate it but talking about these honestly I don't have that much to say just because again these are already existing formulas um, I have done videos on literally everything I've done a video on the cream gel liners on the color sticks on the lippy pencil. I recently just did a whole swatch party on my lippy pencil so I'll leave that up here and also the lippy sticks I've done another video I swatched like 48 shades or something so I've done a video on everything so if you want to know my thoughts on each individual formula you can check out those videos but I'll kind of just speed through it and briefly talk about each formula. For the color sticks on one end we have the cream gel liners you guys know I love this I have so many of them I think it's a really great way to just add a pop of color into your look like today I have a red eyeliner in my waterline and I think that just brings something else to my look and then it kind of just carried my entire red look for today and these are really nice the only downside is that these are very fragile and also within this packaging like I don't really like the packaging for the cream gel liners just because um when you look at the tip it is quite thick and when you want to get precise with the cream gel liner you need to roll it up a little bit high but when you do this and even on the Colourpop website it says like don't roll it up too high because it's going to snap and it will snap and you will see it snap in my look. It does make it a little bit inconvenient that this like top part is a little bit thicker. It's just a very minor detail to note and then for the color sticks you can use your brush and I'll show you in my three look or you can just glide it on to your eyes and use that as a makeup base or an all over shadow. I will say a lot of these shades that they came out with are pretty bright but with that being said I also want to like note about the pricing. The pricing is really really great on these. Let me just bring out my notes. So for the set of three pencils, technically six shades, it's 18 US dollars right? And if you were to purchase like a cream gel liner and a color stick just one full size each that would be 13 US dollars but you can pay 18 US dollars and get like literally six different shades. So I definitely think it's worth to get these just because you have more options for the price point it's really great and the amount you are getting it's not too much of a difference especially with these colors you're not gonna really hit pan on these you're not gonna finish them up so quickly so I think it's a really great way for let's say if you are a beginner to makeup you want to play with some color you want to play with some eyeliners um, these are a really good option. So the different sets you get in the color duos one set is called fizzy pop and this is sort of like the warmer set with the reds the orange the yellow and the other set is more on that green blue side and the final set has more of like purples and pinks which is the set that I did not receive so that's the only one that I'm not showing you in my video today and then talking about the lippy duos again I think these are very convenient because you have your lip pencil on one end and the color on the other some of 
these are lippy duos um, it's the same shade and then some of them is um, a different lip pencil and then a lippy stick so you get more of a gradient you get more dimension but some of them are matching shades And then also I think for the pricing as well and how much product you are getting, it is pretty good. So in the Lippy Duo, for the Lippy Stick, we are getting 0.45 grams and the Lippy Pencil is 0.14 grams. And then in the original size for the Lippy Stick and the Lippy Pencil, it is one gram. So you are getting a little bit less compared to the Color Duos, but still like again, like how often do you go through an entire lipstick? So for $18, essentially you are getting three lip colors and three lippy pencils. I think that is, again, a really great deal if you are getting into makeup. And then lastly, we just have the three blushes. I love the ColourPop press blushes. I will say I do find these a little bit not as like intense and pigmented as their normal press blushes. I'm not sure if it's just I suddenly have a lighter hand when it comes to my blush application, but I did notice that, especially with this one on. The one I have on right now is called Meow, which this kind of lilac bright pink is so popular because of that Dior blush. And then this one, which I don't know how to pronounce, I'll leave it on the screen, but this one is the Coral Orange. And then we have more of like a deeper red coral. Um, so you do get a variation of all three. They are all super pretty. But that pretty much is my breakdown on these products you are saving a lot of money when you really do break it down so with that being said let's just go ahead and get right into those looks all right so here we have the first look we have a peach and gold color combo something a little different from what i normally do so let's hop right into it i start off with the color stick in the shade citrus squeeze and i apply that onto my lid as you can see it's a little dry i would recommend warming it up on a brush like i'm doing here or on the back of your hand or use more of like a tacky eye base but i'm just going between applying it on my eyes and my brush to get that blended out it's sort of going to be like that base color and transition shadow and it's also a metallic as well so we get like just those glitters on our eyes as well now I'm going into the Mini Bieber palette as well as the Baby Got Peach palette and taking a mixture of those two peachy tones, I'm going to wash that all over my lower lash line just like how I normally do and this is going to complement the peach eyeliner we are just about to use. But before that, I'm going to take the dark brown shadow from the Mini Bieber palette and use that as my eyeliner. You guys know I love a smoky wing and I think doing a wing with eyeshadow always looks the best. It's very soft, but it also gives definition. And then taking the cream gel liner in the shade Peach Fuzz, which is just on the other end of Citrus Squeeze, the color stick that we used earlier. I'm going to use like the tip of this to create a little line on my crease, kind of like a cut crease almost, but just like carving out my crease, if that makes sense. I also use like a mini brush as well to help get that definition since these do kind of get blunt pretty quickly. So just working between a brush and the pencil. I also took peach fuzz on the top of my winged liner just at the outer corner there and you can see it just snapped um, but I'm taking that above my winged liner just to almost like highlight my wing as well but also to reinforce that peachiness. So now I'm going to take one of Colourpop's glitter gels. This is in the shade Gaze and I'm going to just apply that right underneath that peach cut crease line just to add a little bit more glimmer and shimmer i think glitter always makes every look look a little bit better so i'm applying that right underneath that peach line i do go into overheat from my red dragon palette because it has a lot of nice micro glitters so i'm applying that right on top of that press glitter just to get more textures into the look and more dimension 
We got one more glitter. This is the Urban Decay Moondust Eyeshadow in the shade Space Cowboy. I just wanted a lot of glitter on my eyes today, so that was a lot, I know. Okay, I lied. We still have one more glitter, but this is a glitter pencil from Unleashia, and I'm just applying that on my lower lash line. And then just taking the Honey Dude Creme Gel Liner, I'm going to use this in my bottom waterline to open up our eyes. And then for blush, I'm taking the Mid-Tone Coral. I thought this would pair really nice with that peachy eyeliner. And I'm just applying that onto the apples on my cheeks and blending that back to my temples. Okay, so this is the first look completed. It is quite subtle, but I think once you get a close-up, you do see all of those little details. Of course, all of those glitters as well. It's a little bit different for me, but I liked how the overall look turned out, and I hope you guys like it too. Alright, so here is the second look. This one will have to be probably my favorite. I just love this color combo. So we're first starting off with the mini Bieber palette. Once again, I'm using a mixture of those transition shadows. This is just going to be like the base color. Um, you don't really see the shadow at the end. So honestly, you could skip out on it, but I just felt better placing a base down. But we're going to go ahead and take the creme gel liner in the shade Big Splash and I'm going to use this to create just the outer wing, so just at the outer third. It was quite easy to do this with just the creme gel liner itself, but when you go over it too much, it does kind of skip. So try to get it in one go um, because that will make it less like patchy. But I will also take a bit of this on my brush and I'm going to focus this right at the inner third of my crease area. And you can see using the creme gel liner on a brush, it is very buildable. So I feel like if you are a beginner with makeup, like a buildable shadow would be quite good. So that way you have more control of your placement and it just gradually blends on. And I think this blue is like absolutely stunning. So I do the so I do take that into my inner corners and also like at the inner third on my lower lash line. And then on the other end, it's the color stick in the shade Market. Also taking that on my brush, I'm going to focus this at the outer corners of my eyes. This is a really nice mid-tone green and it is a matte. So we are working that at the outer corners here. So now taking the color stick in the shade Leafy, I'm going to focus this at the outer corners in my crease, doing the same technique by just taking some of that on a brush. And you can see the shade is very like soft and buildable. Then onto the next color stick in the shade Sunday Morning, taking that on another brush. But this time I'm going to be doing more like tapping motions and focusing it more at the outer edge to get more of that gradient. This color story with the green, yellow, and blue, they are all like in a similar family. So they complement each other really, really well. Now taking the creme gel liner in the shade Exit, which is just the white, I'm applying that to my bottom waterline. I do take a cotton bud just to smudge that out because the white is pretty harsh, so just smudging that out a little. Now going into the Aura and Out palette, I'm taking this teal metallic shadow. It is perfect for this look. Honestly, you could recreate this look with the Aura and Out palette, but that palette, I believe, is now discontinued. Um, but I think it complements this look to the T perfectly. I also took the green super shock shadow and I'm applying that onto my bottom lash line at the center. Again, it fits these colors perfectly. R and Out was such a good palette. I don't know why they discontinued it because it's just too good. But I'm going to go into the pony palette. I'm taking the like dark navy blue. It's called bamboo. And I'm going to use this to line my lash line just more the inner third and kind of blending it into that outer wing. So we have like a gradient wing. And once again, I'm just going back into the Aura and Out palette and I'm taking the pressed glitter in here. Again guys, it just fits perfectly like the reflex in this glitter was meant for this look. Is anyone surprised? We are adding on more glitter. So this is the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter in the shade Distortion. It fits this look really well because the reflex are green and blue. So this has more intense and smaller glitter. So it definitely adds a lot more dimension. 
And to top off the look, I'm just taking one of these mini crystals. This is also from Colourpop as well. I'm just placing that right at the center on my lower lash. And then for my blush, I'm using the deepest one, which is called Retro. It's a really nice red coral shade. Again, I thought it was complementary to this eye look. But yeah, this is the first look completed. I love how this look turned out. Like, I love this color combo, like the mint blue with the green and the yellow it just uh, it's so complimentary and the glitters don't get me started on the glitters i love the glitters so i really like how this look turned out and i hope you guys like it too and then here we have the final look this one was inspired by taeon from her invu music video it was one of the looks that she wore so i want to do something a little similar so i'm starting off with the color stick in the shade finders keepers i'm taking this on my brush and slowly working that onto my lids i also take some on my finger as well just to get that more pigment um, and this one is a metallic so it does have those glitters and i'll also take that on to my lower lash line as well and then on the other end it's the creme gel liner in the shade cherry pie i'm gonna use that to tight line my entire bottom waterline such a good red and then going into the color stick in the shade random i'm gonna use this for my winged liner and this shade actually is so pretty it's such a beautiful mermaid teal it's so pretty like i want to put this all over my lid but i'm using it for my liner today i think it goes really well against that orange again complimentary colors we love that but on the other end we have the creme gel liner in the shade dtla and i'm going to use this to create like a vertical line underneath my eye it's a little hard um just because i have a lot of like fine lines there but i will go in with some other eyeliners to create the dots because i can't be so precise with the creme gel liner and then for blush i'm using the shade meow for this look i probably would have went for the orange blush but i wanted to just showcase all of the blushes with in my looks but this is the final look completed i actually really like how it turned out i mean it was inspired by taeyeon so of course but i really do like how this look turned out i think it was a very simple way to incorporate these eyeliners and i love that pop of red in my waterline so i hope you guys like this look as well all right guys, so those were my three looks. Um, as you probably may have noticed that I didn't do my looks like within the sets. I kind of just played around with the colors. I had a lot of fun planning out these three looks. I'll put like my little like mood board that I did with it and like my inspiration photos that I got. I'll leave um, who the girls are. I'm pretty sure you know who Taeyeon is from Girls' Generation. And of course, you can easily recreate these looks with normal eyeliners or eyeshadows, but I just wanted to do looks mainly with these products so hopefully you guys found some inspiration and you found this video helpful if you did if you could give the video a thumbs up for me i'd appreciate it so much but that is going to conclude today's video guys so thank you so much for watching as always i love you so much and i'll go ahead and see you guys in my next video bye